Um, hi, my name is Anita Lane. I've been coming to Salem since 2001. We started here when my daughter was in first grade and she's graduating high school this year. Just went to her prom last night. So I have two children that um, accompany me here at church on a regular basis, fairly regular. Um, I came here originally because the choral master, the music director, Mary Miller, had asked me to fill in as a professional ringer for a piece she was singing and she needed a singer to come in and fill in some spots. So I came in to fill in spots and um, then came back about two weeks later with my children. And as I walked into the sanctuary that day, uh, Lisa Yerke, who's a member of Salem Players, and the pastor's wife came running out of the church in can-can outfits. They were advertising a program that Salem Players would be performing. And um, I knew immediately that I was in the right church. So, um, and I have been active with the Salem Players Group since then as well. Um, both my children have attended Sunday school here, um, right up through confirmation, have gone to Marlowe Ridge camps. They've attended youth gatherings in New Orleans with the youth. They do service projects with the youth. And um, I also now am involved with the youth group and I'm a chaperone on a regular basis and um, help with the youth committee here. So um, other things that I love here are the music. I've stayed also because of the music and Mary and the fellow musicians that we have here. The, we have the brass group, we have uh, Psalm 98, which is an acapella group. We have an adult choir, we have a children's choir, we have a handbell choir. So musically we're, we're very um, just blessed. And we have the back row group which then performs at the Wednesday night worship. And my daughter Ashley has actually played piano with them and um, worked with them as well. So um, overall, our experience here at Salem is one of family, just a huge, loving environment. Um, always acceptance, no matter where you are in your life, no matter where you've come from or where you're headed. Um, no, regardless of what your political views are, regardless of what your preferences in life are, you, you're welcome here and you're always welcome at the Lord's table, which I think is the most, I, it just unifying part of us. Um, you can, you can walk in with your Sunday best and a hat. You can walk in in athletic shorts and a t-shirt and it doesn't matter. You're, you're always welcome to worship here, to be a part of the family. Um, my 18-year-old has recently decided that she doesn't really believe in God. She says she doesn't get the whole God thing, is her quote. Uh, but she never wants to leave this church. And she's told me she wants to raise her children in a church just like this. Um, I'm waiting. I'm figuring God's going to knock her over the head one day and go, hello, I've been here the whole time, and she'll get it. Um, but she loves the fact that she can state that to somebody here at this church. She can tell them that without fear of being judged, kicked out, or left alone. Members of the church pray for her. Members of the church love her and support her. Um, she came to a special service to bless all our graduating seniors just this past week. And um, there was a wonderful laying on of hands. And my daughter stood there and was just so appreciative of the love the prayers and the support and um, like I said just lack of judgment it's it's a wonderful feeling to have a home that treats you that way knowing that you can fall but you'll always be welcomed back no matter what and so I, I think that's I think that's the most charming part of, of our congregation overall is just the sense of welcoming and love and acceptance